Today I'm going to demonstrate how to clone a transponder or a chip for your car key using the key tool Max made by X-Horse. This tool is very helpful. It's gotten me a lot of binds, uh, but I've noticed there is a bit of a learning curve to figure everything out with it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start out at the main menu and hit transponder clone. Once you're there, you'll notice that it says to put the transponder into the coil position to detect as a picture shown. This is a X-Horse key that I've made for my truck. It already works the vehicle. We'll slip that in the antenna ring and we're going to hit read transponder. Allow it to do its thing. It's going to give you all the chip information, the chip type, whether it's clonable or not and if it's a locked uh, car key or not. From there, we're going to go ahead and hit clone, start clone, and 46 transponder clone. It's detecting the information from the original key. It's very important that you do not remove the key yet. It'll tell you that the key has been read to take the key out and to place in a super chip. This is also made by X-Horse. We have one right here. I'm going to slip that into the antenna for the chip where it's detected and it wrote the data successfully. From here we can take the chip and install it into one of our key shells. Um, the mini X-Horse remotes that they make they just fit right at the top and then they will start the vehicle. No programming is required at this point. Just be advised that this does not program the remote function and that is a separate um, instructional video that I will post shortly. Thank you for your time.